What's up, world? We're live. We're about to get into this. Me and my mom, we're here to spread such much needed awareness on the toxic fashion industry. Yeah. And I'm also going to go in and dive deep into the toxic clothing industry mm -hmm. because this is a true epidemic that is massively affecting our population's health and the Earth's ecosystem. Mm. So. And I have experience um, as a fashion designer. I've been a fashion designer um, in the Garment Center for almost 30 years. And I'm just sitting in with Jalen tonight because I didn't have really awareness of so many issues that were going on in the, in the clothing industry until I really read his book. And so in hindsight, I see some of the things that he's saying now, and now I'm being more um, eco-friendly and eco-conscious because basically you will get in, we'll get into it that these fabrics, this clothing is hazardous and dangerous for our health. Scary. Exactly. And yeah. this is all about bringing as much awareness to these situations as possible. Mm -hmm. And the one major thing I want everybody that's watching to know is that our skin is our largest organ. Yeah. Our yeah. pores mm -hmm. are so absorbent. So anything that goes on or around our skin has an immediate impact on our health wow. because everything wow. gets directly absorbed into our bloodstream. Just look at my shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wearing my shirt for hours a day. We're all wearing clothes. Most people are wearing clothes for nearly 20, 24 seven, all day, every day. And these materials, the mm -hmm. specific the fabrics, materials and the, fabrics, the fibers, right? Right. Mm -hmm. That consist and make up our clothes has such an effect on our health, it cannot be understated. And this is, this is a, a whole topic that I'm so passionate um, to spread with our fellow, fellow humanity because I know that knowledge regarding these situations will benefit our health tremendously mm -hmm. and this is a topic that I became knowledgeable on several years ago around 2014 2015 I became so aware of how just important our skin is everything that goes in our skin gets absorbed into our bloodstream mm -hmm. and it just had a major effect on my consciousness and the next, le the next level to this is how it affects our environment. So eco-friendly right now. Yeah, yeah. Is, thank God that it's starting to pick up yeah. and more attention. More is, awareness is being brought to it, yes. Because there's so much toxicity in our mm -hmm. environment, in our Earth's ecosystems. And, like, guys, he really lives by this. He's not just, like, promoting his book. He lives by this. Like, when I go and buy him clothes, or I, I, actually, I stopped because... <laughs> Because now he only buys it from certain places. And when I used to bring him like a black t-shirt, his favorite color, um, he's like, nope, not wearing that. I'm like, you're kidding me. It's soft. It's cotton. And so he's like, nope, it's not organic. Um, how did they process this? How did they make this? And I'm like, oh my God, already. It's just a black shirt. Just wear it. But now I see like re from reading his book and just living with him, he says, you know, all this stuff in it. I, to be honest, I was just like, all right, already, you're annoying me with, like, you're not wearing this, you're not wearing that, you're not going to put this on that, right? I was like, this yeah. is so annoying because all I'm trying to do is, like, getting a nice shirt or a nice pair of jeans. And, like, he won't look, look at him. When you see his videos, like, everything that he literally puts on is, like, has to be, you know how we say rabbi approved, <laughs> kosher approved? I'm like, it has to be Jalen approved. So this is no joke. And so he's going to get into sharing some things from his book re regarding toxic fashion and clothing. And he asked me to, to print a t-shirt for his business. So we went online, right, and looked for places where we can get an organic t-shirt and then have it printed with inks and, and uh, paints that are non-toxic and, and environmentally friendly, yep. blah, blah. And I'm just like, you know, there were a few places that I did find. I don't want to say that I didn't find them, but to get the lettering of like what he wanted, it just didn't pan out. So I said, you know what? Let's just, I'll, I'll do it for you. So he, he got the shirt, which is right here. And he found 
He found, like Jalen will find it. Yeah, let He's him so know resourceful. Jalen found not only non-toxic paint, but like eco-friendly, biodegradable, and it's fabric paint. And as an artist, um, I'm really trying to be more conscious about this. Um, as a designer, like I make um, clothing, I put my art on clothing. I'm really trying to be more focused and more aware of this. Um, my clothing now is at a local boutique in, in Norwalk called um, Echo Evolution. And Brad, who's like the visionary of Echo Evolution, is really teaching me a lot between Brad and Jalen. They're teaching me so much about what we can do to be echo friendly. So this paint that Jalen found, let me put on my glasses so I can see this. It, this is the base of the paint, right? So this is a natural acrylic medium, non-toxic, plant-based, petroleum-free, um, made in the USA, solar-powered facility, uh, natural earth paint, and woman-owned on top of it, this business. So yay for all of those things. And so what you do is you buy the base. It's like white cream, right? White paint. And then whatever color you want to make this, and for Jalen, he wanted a black tea with white painting of letters. This is natural earth pigment, uh, and it comes in here. Make your own natural paint, pure, non-toxic, professional grade. So this is white. So yay. So what you do. I'm hyped I, for this. this so I cool. did a little test this afternoon because, you know, I wanted to make sure this was all kosher and everything. So basically what you do here before you get into the book, let me just show them how to do this in case somebody is interested in painting with non-toxic paint. Yeah. All right. So you add like there's a ratio, but you know, it's two to one, I think, but you know, you can look on the website to know exactly, but I'm doing two scoops of the paint this is the acrylic see how creamy it's like liquid and you know i hope you could see this from a distance but so i'm adding two scoops of the paint there let me close that tight and then i was mixing this in the front of the lawn i'm like i hope people don't think like we got it like cocaine or something <laughs> But that's, a, so, that's for the white color. They have This is for white. Colors. Like, you can choose any, you know, <laughs> color you want. That white powder, though. But, right? yeah, you know. So, they tell you to really do this outside. I'm only doing this now for the sake of the video. But when I do this, I do this outside. It's non-toxic, but still mixing paints and, you know, all this stuff. It's powder. You don't want it to fly everywhere. So, there's that. And then, honestly, very easy. Take your little... Got a little wooden spatula here. Mix it up. And voila, you got white paint. So chemical and, free. Chemical free. And it's fabric paint. So what I did was I just chalked the letters on easy breezy, right? For me to like do this tonight. My and business then, slogan. Okay, don't tell him what it is yet. Let me paint it. So I'm gonna paint this while he's sharing on his book about toxic fabrics and fashion. Okay, hit it, Jay. Yeah, first thing, just, just to sum it up, everybody that's watching this video, you guys could just do a quick Google search on the toxic clothing industry, and you will find the several specific chemicals that are found in the majority of clothing, and it really comes down to finding clothing sources that are not made out of synthetic fibers. Mm -hmm. So it's the synthetic. Right. Okay. Okay. Synthetic clothing is the problem. So you want to do what you can to find, and I'll help, I can help you easily help you find sources for all natural clothing fibers, like organic cotton, hemp. Um, silk. Silk, natural materials. This is how our clothing was for centuries. And, the past, and in, the, in the past 50 years, we've seen more and more of these synthetic fibers um, starting to be produced from the, the clothing industries in the United States. And come to find out, I found out that this is a problem globally. Um, I found out that this is an issue in India as well. And I'm sure that it's happening. China. China, of course. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just know that it's prevalent worldwide because the clothing industries are so unregulated. Yes. And it's just shocking. Yep. It's so shocking. 
for people to find this out because we think that these agencies and these regulators would care about our environment and human health. Right now. But let me just say this too, because when I was a designer, um, we used to travel to um, China and um, Hong Kong and Taiwan um, to, you know, we design the clothes, I would design the clothes and then send it over uh, to get made. So we had to go there to check on the garments, right? And so literally, um, if a factory, especially in China, was di were dyeing fabrics, let's say red or purple or whatever it, color it was, they were dyeing the fabrics. And I remember, I don't know, years ago we did ac acid wash. So acid wash jeans were like all the rave, right? Mm. And this was in the 80s. So acid wash, just like the name alone, like you could do your research what that process is. But when uh, we would go there, you would see the rivers near the factories, they were literally red or purple because the, the dyes were going into the water. They were going into the rivers, which then not only harms the earth, obviously, but it's what these people eventually would be using this water for something. So, I mean, all around, it's just bad news of how like a lot of things are made. Yeah. So everybody, I'm encouraging you to share this message with as many people as you know. Because it's true that the health of humanity is at stake. The health of planet Mother Earth is at stake. And I'm just going to do everything I can to spread this message. And God wants us to be good stewards of what he gave us. Right? Exactly. He wants us to take care of things. And if we're not taking care of what, you know, you know we're, what we have here, not only for, for taking care of the earth, but for our health. Like, our health is important. And that's why Jayla's going to get, that's why so many people, like, never before are so sick. Like, I've right. never heard of so many diseases and so many uh, illnesses and people just being sick. Even young kids with so many different things. And, you know, like you said, the skin is like an, an absorbent organ and we really need to pay attention to uh, what we put on our bodies. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, there's just a couple points in my mind that I really want to get, in cro get across. Um, and a major point is a lot of people, they know that what you eat is important and your eating lifestyle, your food selection, your, the way that you prepare your food and the substances that you ingest, the liquids that you ingest, everything that you put in your mouth has high value and it's important. But the main point that I want to get across is our environment and the substances that go on our skin has an even greater effect than the substances that we put in our mouth. Mm. So I want everybody to just pay attention, especially to your undergarments. And for men, your underwear, your undershirt, the materials that are in direct contact with your skin. There are healthy options, and they are the same price point. They're not any more expensive. This shirt was probably $15. I get a t-shirt for $20. And the thing is with the natural fabrics is, is that they have longevity. They'll last you. So you're saving your health, and you're saving the environment. But there's a passage in my book that really illustrates my message specifically. Wait, I just want to say something about the underwear. So most, especially women, think like, because growing up, m m mom always said, get cotton underwear, right? Cotton underwear for women, we need cotton underwear. Well, cotton underwear that's not organic is just as um, toxic, you know, as, is, as if you use synthetic. Maybe the, the cotton is more breathable, yes, but if you're using um, underwear that's not organic, there's still chemicals in the cotton. And um, I don't know if you saw my post, but Victoria's Secret was um, sued because they've had so many lawsuits because their lingerie has such a toxic high level of formaldehyde. And you know what formaldehyde is. I mean, so can you imagine Victoria's Secret lingerie? They have high toxic um, chemicals in their products. So do your research. Go ahead, Jen. Exactly. These, these chemicals, they contribute to infertility. They contribute to reproductive cancers. And that is as detrimental and destructive and as traumatic as it can get. It really is that serious. And I'm just, I'm just pleading uh, with everybody to take their health into their own hands. And, I, and 
I encourage everybody to become really skillful in their ability to do research and to learn and increase your awareness in these areas. Mm -hmm. So here's a quick passage from my book. Um, I've received such awesome messages and feedback regarding this specific uh, passage regarding the clothing industries. So here it is. The companies that produce clothing in the United States are extremely unregulated, which causes severe human health damage and environmental pollution. The clothing industry relies heavily on the use of severely poisonous pesticides. The vast majority of clothes are made out of neurotoxic coatings and health damaging synthetic materials, including polyester, nylon, rayon, and poisonous plastic chemicals. Mm. Clothing made in the past 60 years and the clothes being made today are highly weaponized, which means they damage human health and Earth's environment. I became so incredibly conscious and aware of everything in my life that came in contact with my skin. Our skin has thousands and thousands of pores, which absorb into every single organ in the body. The toxic chemicals and synthetic fibers contained in clothes are directly absorbed into every part of the wearer's body. The chemical exposure via contact with the skin contributes to many health ailments, including autoimmune diseases, chronic diseases, and infertility. Precisely when I analyzed the poisonous truths of the clothing industries in the United States, I made immediate and permanent changes to my wardrobe. I made the lifelong decision to utilize 100% organically grown natural fabrics, fabrics clothing. All of my shirts, undershirts, undergarments are made out of 100% organic cotton, hemp, or wool. I became insistent on eliminating my absorption of toxins, toxins from pesticide-laden synthetic clothing materials and began to treasure clothing made out of organic cotton, silk, linen, hemp, wool, and cashmere. Mm -hmm. Everything that touches your skin impacts your health directly and immediately. So that just illustrates a percentage of just how pertinent this, this entire category is. And I just want to add something to that, Jay. Um, you know, for the girls, um, well, more guys, guys too, but for girls, we love like the latest fashions, the latest styles. And there are um, companies when you, you order it online and you forget like the size, most of the time you get it and like it doesn't even look like the model that's in the picture. But have you ever opened up a box uh, of clothing and it stinks? Right? That's off gassing. That's the That's, off gassing. Tell them what off gassing is because it's so dangerous. You're like, what the heck is this smell? It's like you got to air it out. That has so much toxins and poisons because what they do, they pack it with that stuff so that it doesn't cause mildew, right? It keeps it from getting parasites. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Like, do your research on these clothes that come from like Shein. Um, you know, I don't want to stop calling people out, but. You have to be careful with these mass marketing companies that's importing stuff like for five. You could get like a leather coat for five dollars, basically, like faux leather, le leather. But when you take it out, not only is it the wrong fit and the wrong, it doesn't look like nothing what you what you ordered, but it's off gassing. Tell them what that is. Yeah, so off gassing is the chemical release of highly volatile toxic chemicals, and. It's, 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 it's obvious when you, like my mom said, when you are exposed to that smell that just mm -hmm. pops out at you. And once you have awareness of this, you just know I shouldn't be breathing this in. Mm -hmm. And it's chemical exposure due to inhalation of these highly volatile chemicals. So off-gassing is the period of when these chemicals are evaporating into the environment where they damage your human health, and they damage the environment as well. These chemicals are just so detrimental to so many aspects of our existence. Um, so that's why I'm just so passionate for my personal health and to just share this message because mm -hmm. if you're watching this video right now, I'm telling you that you, you really are, you're truly blessed. 
because this is information that sadly yeah, most we people don't know. Aware. We want to make you aware of it. And also, it's very important to anything that's waterproof fabric like these, um, like I said, these leather or faux leather jackets, the um, uh, raincoats, that polyurethane, it's like a, it causes so much cancer. Um, so many different forms of cancer. So really be careful in checking your labels. Um, sometimes the garment doesn't even have to smell, you know, right? It's right. like all these poisons are in this in the garments and they don't necessarily have to smell. Um, Victoria's Secret Lingerie, it doesn't smell, but there's formaldehyde in it. There's um, nail polish. I mean, Brad at Echo Evolution sells eco-friendly nail polish, formaldehyde free. You're putting nail polish, right? on your nails and you want to make sure like Jalen said it's an organ you don't want that going through your nail bed and and causing um cancer and causing all other issues that might come up later on down the road because you want pretty nails so make sure um even the makeup right there's so many this can go into so many areas Jalen. i know your book covers a lot and it's really important guys and girls that you get this book because this is one topic that he talks about but there's so many different areas and how we how he's bringing awareness so that whether it's autoimmune disease or it's just um, kicking it up so that we would have a healthy lifestyle because you don't want to you know it, I wish I knew this when I was 20 like people say oh we want to buy clothes we want to buy clothes but honestly the clothes that were made beside the acid wash the clothes <laughs> that were made years ago are probably made with less um, chemicals than they are right, right now you think do you think that's true that's definitely true yeah so if you have like clothes from your grandmother or so, that vintage stuff i mean you know just check the material just check the material you want it to be probably didn't have they didn't have a whole bunch of organic back then but you know if they have silk shirts right mm -hmm. and now you have like where it's coming into hemp and linen and all that but anyway even if it is synthetic wear some a cotton organic cotton undergarment as much as you can so it's not actually touching your skin and don't sweat oh my god and the workout clothes that are full of oh right the, yeah the exercise clothing yeah what what's that sweating? material the, the sweat resistance Wick, what about wicking? wicking yeah the wicking that the wicking moisture it takes moisture away from is that good no, oh, yeah. that's that's even worse. That so material. when you're working out, and like a lot of these companies, they're not breathable. Not, not breathable. breathable. That's horrible. If you're not, if your clothes aren't breathing, that means your skin isn't breathing while you're wearing it. Exactly. But I want the main one thing that I have to definitely say um, is that for every situation that I that it needs to be exposed, there's there is an exact solution for everything. There's a solution for an, um, an upgrade, um, mm -hmm. a health improvement that can always be made for every situation that's out there. Mm -hmm. For example, with the makeup, there's, there's all natural, non-toxic makeup, nail polish. There are companies out there that are doing things the healthy in the right, in the eco-friendly way. There are companies, yes. there's clothing companies that are doing things the right way. Um, so if you need guidance to find these companies, just contact Jalen. And also, I like I'm pl a plug. I make eco-friendly glitter because I'm an artist and I love glitter. So now I have eco-friendly, biodegradable, not made out of plas plastic. It's plant-based glitter. Show off the shirt. Oh, what you've done so far. Okay, so this is the first. Well, it's going to be backwards, but this is called. This Jalen is going to have his new. What is yeah, his new yeah. Well, his new saying, generational health. health. That's Woo! my slogan. This is my slogan. It's powerful. And I just know there's power in these words. Yeah, generational health. Because everybody that's watching this video, especially if you want kids, you should be doing everything you can to maximize your DNA integrity. Yeah. To maximize the health and strength of your DNA to pass it to your offspring mm -hmm. because everything that we're doing day to day, everything that we're doing every day has an immediate effect on our DNA mm -hmm. and the healthier that our DNA is, the healthier our offspring, the healthier our children's yes. DNA yes. will be. Yes. So that is a huge part so of my- So generational. Yes. Yes. Because the things I'm doing right now 
are going to bless my kids. And that's how we have to think. It's not just about us. Right. And even if it was just about us, that's enough. Right. But the fact that we have to carry this on and pass this on. Because I want my kids to have the strongest DNA possible. Yes. Yep. So... Anyway, so we're going to end with this. Please go get the book so you can learn more about it. If you are an artist, um, you know, the, I'm not going to, this paint was like $44. So it's not cheap, but you get a whole lot, right? And to me, it's worth investing in things that are going to be good for our earth and good for my me using it. Every time I go paint something, Jalen runs away from me. <laughs> so I even bought, um, cause I like using spray paints. I just bought a, a biodegradable, bi biodegradable, yeah. eco-friendly, you know, which I used on my snow art. All the people coming at me for, you know, using the wrong spray paint on the, I use eco-friendly stuff when I did my snow art. You can see it on my, my YouTube channel. And we are conscious about this even the more because of Jalen's book. And I'm, uh, you know, I, like I said, I put my art on kimono robes and all kinds of clothing. And, you know, we're printing it in the most um, sustainable way and being careful and cautious about how we do things, not just for my life, but for my son, for my grandchildren, and for my great grandchildren. Hear me, Lord. Okay. Yeah. So, Generational health all day. All day, all day. So thank you for tuning in. And um, we'll see you on the next time we do something. Yeah, we got plenty more coming. We got more to do. So anyway, go get you some paint and have some fun and have some generational health. Have a great night. Love have you all. Have a great all. night. Love you guys.